Hello, 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 and we finally have a microphone, ladies and gentlemen. You should be able to hear me now. Let me know in chat if you can't. Uh, I am Shrimp Scampy, and we are now going to play uh, our 10th game of the season. I'm, I'm 1 in 8. This is our 10th game of the season, um, and we have a lot of ground to make up. So hopefully we're going to start that tonight. We were going to be playing the Golden State Warriors, but now we're playing the Philadelphia 76ers. So that means we're going to be going up against the Monstar himself, Sean Bradley, and a collection of guys who I don't know, Jeff Malone and Clarence Weatherspoon. So uh, we're going to do some remembering of one guy and not much remembering of the other two. Uh, so without any further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. Fingers crossed this is going to be a as easy of a game as the... Uh, Hopefully this is going to be as easy of a matchup as the uh, as the Warriors matchup was going to be because the Warriors were a bad team. I don't know about Sean Bradley. Uh, I don't know how he looks in this game. We're gonna, but I'm gonna I'm gonna take the lessons that I've learned. Ah, goaltend, of course. If Reggie Miller could goaltend, could you imagine Reggie Miller actually goaltending? Okay, get back. I think what I've learned from this game is ah! What I've learned from this game is nothing matters. Nothing matters at all. God is dead. That's what I've learned from this game. All right. Uh, I feel like the key to success here is really conservative defense. I think the more aggressive I get, the worse, the, the less successful I am. But when I just stay by the basket and run kind of a little 1-1 one, one zone, if I can just figure out how to get a gosh darn rebound. Whoop, whoop. That's, a, that's the Reggie Miller we know and love. Just nice little layups. Those nice little things are easily blocked away. Okay. How did Sean Bradley, who's, uh, I actually want to see a deep dive on this. Who was Sean Bradley's agent? How did Sean Bradley get the good fortune of being a monster in Space Jam? Because Sean Bradley, I think, when I think of tall guys who deserve to be in a movie with Michael Jordan, Sean Bradley does not even crack the list. I feel like his agent must get paid a ton of money. Like he must have an amazing agent. If he's getting if he's getting the call if he's getting the call over let's see here. So he played in Philadelphia. So maybe part of it is a market thing. Is that like is that it? Because they've got I mean they from a position perspective they didn't need him, right? Because they had Patrick Ewing. So they stole Patrick Ewing's talent. They didn't need another center. Why are you stealing Sean Bradley's talent? What talent he had? I don't even think he was that talented to begin with. And then he dunks on me, so what do I know? Ah, uh, all right. That would've been a nice little, all right, we're, we're tied going into the second. That's okay. But so, so whatever sh talent Sean Bradley had though, right? Um, you don't need another center. So if you're the Monstars, why are you getting two centers worth of talent, especially when you already have Patrick Ewing? I feel like Sean Bradley, his agent, uh, I, does not get enough credit for getting him into that movie. That's really impressive, because it doesn't make sense from a basketball standpoint, both in regards to talent and position. It also doesn't make sense uh, because he's... I mean, he's not, Philadelphia is a big-ish market, but it's not that big of a market. It's not like he's playing in L.A. or something. Um, and he wasn't like a superstar. I don't know. Why was he in that movie? All right, what are we going to do for substitutions here? So we've got Reggie. We've got Rick. Um, I'm going to go. I'm going to get McKee in there because I think I'm, I'm going to go. I'm going to go McKee Smiths and I'm going to run McKee at the point. Let's do it. Ah, get the rebound! Yeah, yeah, Jordan says the best thing that he had going for him was he, that he was 7'6", which is true, but, like, Rick Smith was 7'4". I don't know, like, 
You already have a center. So what, you're gonna run pa Patrick Ewing at the four? Like, I feel like that's, I don't even understand what offense you would run. Like, talk about Twin Tower offense. I think really, what was the name of the, what was the name of the, uh, the, the Monstar, the alien that was like the, the general manager, like the coach of the, of the Monstars. I feel like he would just get eaten alive in the modern NBA. Okay. I need to be able to get a rebound though. I feel like he'd get eaten alive in the modern NBA. Derek McKee, ladies and gentlemen. Cause I mean, right now the Pacers are running two 6'11 guys and people are like, twin towers don't work. Imagine, imagine running Patrick Ewing and Sean Bradley together. I'm thinking you can beat Michael Jordan with that roster. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Shovel. Yeah, Derek! Pass that up. Pass the rock! Let's go, let's go, we got a lead! Ladies and germs. Yes! Go, 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 go! Boom! Boom, Shaklaka, and he is on fire! Shove him, shove him! Yes! Pass it up, he's on fire! Oh hey! Let's go! If you wanna be my friend, just let me know. I I about to lose another rebound. Let's go! Alright. Uh, you win some, you lose some. Alright, I feel like didn't I but I got one of those from Rick earlier, right? So I feel like you take the good, you take the bad. That's uh that's one of each, so. All right, we're tied up going into the going into halftime. Let's see. Here. I'm gonna keep. I feel like I need to keep McKee on the court. No, I'm gonna want him in the fourth. I want Reggie in the fourth. I know I want Reggie and McKee in the fourth. So the question is, which one am I willing to take risks with? He's got Derek McKee's got no injury still. I think I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run McKee Smith's man. I think that's gonna be my, uh, that's the bet. All right. Whoa. There it is. Derek McKee is low key real good in this game. There it, oh, I thought I had the steal. Ah! Why can I not time rebounds in this game? If someone could teach me that, is there like a, is there just a YouTube tutorial on how to time rebounds in this game? I feel like if this game came out today, there would be. That's the way, that's the way video games work nowadays, right? It's just everything in the world, there's a tutorial for it. Uh, oh! This is painful, this is painful. All right, let's get down, get down the court. Whoop, whoop. That wasn't great. That wasn't great. I need mean, see this is why I say I need that more conservative defense. Cause when I when I get super aggressive and I try to take people in the backcourt, things always end pretty badly for me. Ooh. Oh Yeah, I get killed in transition. It's a lesson I've learned. Ah. Okay, so we got a four point game. We got under a minute left in the third. I feel like we just gotta go conservative. We gotta get some two pointers. We gotta get ourselves in a position where Reggie can come in and save the day. Just stay, just keep this thing nice and close. Ah, uh, you know when they say that it's gonna be bad. Yes. Dunk that. Oh, Rick, dunk that! Okay, I'll take the goaltend. It's still worth the same, right? All right, would've been nice to get that one up, but that's okay, that's okay. We're going into the fourth. 
How are we doing on how are we doing on Derek's uh, injury? Derek has no injury. Rick got Rick got all of the injuries. Look at this poor guy. Look at this poor guy. Ten injury over here. All right. So we're going Miller McKee. I'm gonna be running Reggie at the point. We're gonna close this one out. We're gonna get ourselves another win. We're gonna go to two and eight. You feeling it? Miller McKee, let's go. All right, nice conserv oh, nice conservative defense. Just stay. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, nope, cannot go that way. Uh, I don't like it when they say that. Because that means I'm going to miss. All right, let's just drop back. Play nice and conservative. Just nice and conservative. Just sitting here, daring you to come into the paint. There we go. Yes. Okay, there we go. Boom, boom shakalaka. There we go. All right, no, 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 no. Do not get aggressive. Just drop back. Just drop back. Okay. Uh-oh. I didn't think that was that gutsy. See, you say that's a gutsy shot. I don't feel like it was that gutsy. Come on, announcer. See, that actually felt gutsy. That was... I, why was that... See, why was that one considered not as gutsy? <laughs> Boom, baby. All right, there we go. Get back, get back, get back, get back. Ah, you cannot give up those second looks. All right, we got a one-point game. Ah, that three would have been really helpful right there. See, if I just stay down here, they're afraid to go into the paint. Just got to scare them out of the paint. And then goaltend. All right, three-point game, 21 seconds. Pass it up to Reggie. Boom, baby. All right, 12 seconds. Big stop, big stop, big stop. Let's go. You know, I'm I'm doing double or nothing. This is the way this is the way I believe this game should be played. Double or nothing. If I win this next game, I've won two. Or I, if if I win this next game, then I've, I've won one. If I lose this next game, then I have lost two. I think that's fair. Double or nothing. Let's go. Open up another beer. Let's see what we got. Uh, what? All right. This is gonna be weird. We got Rick versus Rick, Reggie versus Reggie. Okay. Forcing Reggie into those long twos. I'm okay with that. Boom, baby. I think we're about to, I'm about to learn a hard truth about myself right now. <laughs> Cause I'm about to get smashed by my own team. That's gonna be a problem. Oh, uh oh. Could I at least be in the blue and gold? I really don't like these dumb white jerseys. This is not, it doesn't look like anything we've ever worn before. Like those blue and gold uniforms look like the old uh, ABA edition jerseys. These look like the only thing close to these, ah! Or like the city edition that we wear now. Yeah, that's true, Jordan. At least I know my opponent. That's the one good thing here is at least I know. I know some strengths and weaknesses, which is nice. Ah. Uh, I also don't. I think I feel like goaltending is so arbitrarily uh, enforced here. I feel like there's so many times where it's like that's clearly a goaltend and it's just, oh no, what a block! 
Uh oh. Spaghettios. Alright, let's go ahead and get ourselves a. Let's just. Quarter three. Oh, that's a two. Damn it. Darn it. One of my rules is no cursing. You know that, Tim. Ah! That corner three is pretty reliable in this game for him. See, but the, w what I miss is the 98 version, I'd have Miller and Mullen that I could play. I could play Chris Mullen with the same, with Reggie. And it would just be super reliable. Two really good three point shooters that you can kick it to. All right, three seconds. Get a good look here. All right, we're down six to ourselves. This is a problem. Um, what are we gonna do here? They're running Miller and McKee back. Or yeah, they're running Miller and McKee. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go McKee Smiths. I think that's, I think that's my bet. Let's go. They're sacrificing a lot of height right now. Ah! And then of course I give up a dunk. I say they're they're sacrificing height, and then what what's it worth to me? Nothing. All right, just drop back, play that conservative defense. You know what to do. There we go. The Dutchman, Rick Smits. Ah. Sorry, I spent that defensive possession trying to think of something that rhymes with Holland. And I can't do it. Molland? Folland? Rolland? I don't know. If anyone knows anything that rhymes with Holland, let me know in the comments. Ah! I like Duncan Dutchman. We could do alliteration with H's doesn't work that well, right? Like, ah, hey, pass that. Boom. I feel like alliteration with H's doesn't work. Like hustling from Holland doesn't work. Duncan Dutchman, that's some good alliteration. Though. You know, that's just like two hard D's. That's like a, see, I feel like that would have been called a block previously. I don't understand why, I don't understand why. It's just really arbitrarily enforced in this game, and I don't really get that. Nice and conservative, nice and conservative. Yes! But see, the, the weird thing about this game too is the CPU has no understanding of spacing. Like again, going back to things that just would not fly in modern basketball, the CPU just kind of follows me around. Ah! And so it's, 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 it makes the game harder because it's like, I don't get the spacing I need to be, how's that? If I'm not getting the spacing I need, I don't know how I'm supposed to be successful. That's the problem. So, all right. So we're still down four at half against ourselves, which is a problem. They're running Smith. Oh, see, they're stealing my idea. They're running Smith McKee. I'm going to run Miller McKee. I feel like that's, now's the time. Let's go. I'm going to run this the whole second half. Let's go. All right, let's do it. Ah! I should have passed that off. Lesson learned. And he's on fire. That's a problem. Ah! Keep shooting threes. Just keep shooting threes. That's my religion. That's the one religion I believe in. It's just keep shooting threes. Oh! <laughs> yeah, that's what the Dutchman will do. He will do that to you. All right, just take the two. So you don't need to. Take the, take the two easy ones. Now get back, get back, get back. You got two on one right now. Yeah. Oh, I 
Oh, I thought that was in for sure. Yeah, there we go. There you go. Get that board. Oh, no, no, no! Yeah! It's a big swing right there. Give it to me, baby. Ah, 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 ah. ah get off me! Here. Ah, get to it, get to it! Yes! Boom, baby! There's the lead! Let's go! Yes! Dunk that, dunk that! Slams it home! Uh-oh. And there we go. See, that's the problem is if you get, if, if they get Rick in the post, there's not much I can do about it. Uh-oh. All right. Going into the fourth with a lead. All right, the good news is we know no matter what, Indiana's gonna win this game, right? All right, they're running Miller Smith. I'm running Miller McKee right back. Let's go, let's go. All right, drop back, play that prevent defense. Let's go. Ah, yeah, Reggie will do that to me. That's the problem. Thank God it was a two. Take, yeah. There we go. See, if I can just force all their defensive effort and intensity onto Reggie, that'd be nice. Oh! But then their Reggie, their Reggie is killing me. Monster of the mid-range he is. Whoop. Mm. All right, this is about to be a big swing. All right, that's a pretty big swing for me. Three points. Yeah. Boom, baby. All right, drop back. Just drop back, play conservative. Drop back, drop back, play conservative. Ah! All right, let's go ahead and... Now do I go, do I go gutsy here? Ah! Shoot. There it is. Now, uh, I should just take the two here, right? Take the easy ones. There it is. Good block. Get there, get there, get there, get there. No! No, 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 no! Ah, oh, I thought we had that for sure! Oh, no! That decision might cost me the game! Okay. No, if that goes in... We're going to overtime, baby. Let's go! OT Pacers versus Pacers. Let's go! This is for what? This is for two and eight. Let's go. Um, and I we don't even have the chance to sub sub out. Uh, I don't know the rules here. I don't see a clock. Oh, now I see a clock. Boom, baby. Boom, baby. All right, drop back, play conservative. You got a three-point lead. The worst thing you can do is get over-aggressive here. There we go. It's a five-point lead. Let's go. Nice and conservative. Nice and conservative. Just stay right there. Right there in the key. There we go. Ah, but get a rebound, please. Life is a lot easier when you get rebounds. There it is, there it is. Keep that five point lead. Just stay back, just stay back. Hang in the lane, hang in the lane, hang in the lane. There we go, there we go. Let's burn some clock, burn some clock, burn some clock. Boom, baby, yeah! 
<laughs> there we go! Burn some clock. Burn some clock. Out of turbo! Alright, fine, fine, fine. I should have gotten a shot up there, but... Uh-oh. Alright, I'm, uh, I'm not liking this very much. Let's go ahead and uh, score some points, because it'd be nice to not lose this game from the, from the clutches of victory. Uh-oh. Alright, that's fine, that's fine. Oh no! No, 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 oh no, 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 oh, I was so close to blowing that, I was so close to blowing that, oh, all right, I'm counting it, I'm counting it, you know what that means, we are now two and eight, we are two and eight, uh, should I run this back one more time, should I just, should I just see who I get next? I'm gonna see who I get next. Let's see. I'm two and eight. I'm gonna go for three and eight right now. That's what I'm gonna do. Alright. Who are we gonna draw here? Alright. Oh, shoot. Ah, uh, this isn't great. We got the mailman. The yeah, we got Malone and Stockton. Man, this is this is a legit, real good roster. Oh my God, Richard! Richard Smith. How dare you not dunk that? Boom, baby. All right. I, I, I feel like I'm I'm owed one after that, right? Ah, I cannot give. If, if John Stockton is getting rebounds over you, you're going to have problems. Oh, my goodness. Uh, this is just an act of hubris right now. Ah! John Stockton is dunking over Rick Smith. Are you kidding me? That's a foul! Come on, ref! Come on! Are you blind? Actually, knowing Reggie, that's uh, just kind of like par for the course. One of these has to go in. Ah, all right, now I'm feeling really stupid for not taking one of those open twos. There it is. Okay, all right. Oh, I didn't get all the way to the three-point line. I should have dunked that. Oh! Okay. All right, all right. It's a one-point game after the first quarter. This is okay. Um. Let's run Smith. Let's run McKee Smiths. Let's do this. Why would they ever not run Carmel and John Stockton? I, I, who would even be the third person on this team in this game? All right, this isn't great. Of course he is. The mailman. Drop that. Why didn't why didn't Carl Malone or John Stockton have their talents stolen by the Monstars? 
Speaking of the Monstars, like, what were they thinking? Not stealing? John Stockton and Carl Malone both objectively better than Sean Bradley. I feel like, because let, let's see, yeah, they stole Muggsy Bogues' talent, which I argue, oh my, see, how is that a rejection, not a rebound? I would argue, I'd argue John Stockton was better than Muggsy Bogues. Um, I don't even think that's an argument. I think that's inarguable. Like, John Stockton was objectively better than Muggsy Bogues. Um, Carl Malone was definitely better than, uh, was definitely better than Sean Bradley. Is it a market thing? Is it because they're in Salt Lake? Like, is that... The, the reason I always assume the Monstars didn't steal Reggie Miller's talent is because, like, no one wants to watch the Monstars shoot, like, 53 pointers and flop and go to the free throw line. Like, all the things he was really good at are not the things that make really entertaining basketball for children. Uh, but... I don't know, I have no idea why these guys didn't get picked for the Monstars. They should be Monstars. And do you think that the new Space Jam is gonna have that same problem? <laughs> Whatever. But, but now the question is, is the new Space Jam gonna have that same problem? That same like small market bias? I don't know, who are gonna be the new Monstars? I feel like, Paul George and Kawhi Leonard should definitely be Monstars. But now you've got LeBron, Kawhi, and Paul George all in LA. So you've got to have some representation on the East Coast. So you've got, what, KD in, uh, in Brooklyn? Who else is going to be like a Monstar? Um, Alright, what's my injury situation here? Alright, I'm going to run I'm gonna run Miller McKee the whole, whole second quarter, or the whole second half. Oh no, oh no, oh no, this is a problem. This is a problem. So I somehow accidentally picked up the, uh, oh no, this is a big problem. This is a big problem. I'm gonna have to restart this game. Uh, yeah, no, Jordan, I think you're right. Kyrie's gonna be, all right, well, so we're, here's what we're gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to pause this. I don't think there's a way for me to get out of this. I've accidentally taken over control of both people and I don't know how to undo that. So I think we're gonna have to leave it here. I think you're right, Jordan. I think Kyrie is probably gonna be a monstar. I feel I, Giannis has to be a monstar. If Giannis isn't a monstar, that is the greatest oversight in the history of the NBA. Um, and you can hold me to that. But um, despite the fact that I screwed this game up, uh, I do get to go out on a high note because we are two and eight. We have stopped the bleeding. We are uh, no longer going to be uh, at risk of a ninth loss tonight. Uh, but we're going to be back tomorrow. We're going to see what happens then because ideally I can get a couple more wins, stack those up, and start making some progress to a five.